Hello, hello everyone. I hope all is well. Hi to my Taurus in particular. I will be doing your September reading. Okay. It is for Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, so if you have Taurus and you on your birth chart, you can watch this. Or if you want to cross watch, you can do that too. All right. This reading is general, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. If it does resonate with you, I ask that you please thumbs up the video. Okay. All right. So. I'm going to get into general energies from now to the end of September. And then I'm going to go into your love reading, Taurus. good feeling from Taurus right now I'm getting a I'm getting a pretty pretty good feeling um you guys is energy right now you guys are in a good place right now you're in a good space right now I feel like in August um you guys had some rough times I feel like you may have left a long-term relationship or some type of commitment um, or even a job. You guys left something alone, left something behind in August. And right now, you're just, you're feeling pretty good right now, Taurus. So, that's awesome. I do see that right now or sometime in September I feel as though you're going to focus more on your family more so than work you I mean quite naturally you're going to go to work but I feel like you have been the overtime king or queen okay you have been working a lot lately I see you um putting your family first okay you understand that your children need a solid, strong foundation. Your family in general does. And, you know, you want to be around more, Taurus. And if you haven't been working, you have been doing something to where you haven't fu fully been around for your family. Okay, I see some new jobs coming in for you Tauruses in the month of um, uh, September. Some new, some new jobs, some new partnerships, um, you know, some new relationships, friendships, and whatnot. Oh, goodness, cards just keep, <laughs> cards just keep falling out. Okay, in the month of September, Taurus, you're going to have to be very, very cautious and wise how you proceed on a financial situation, I feel like. Um, I feel as though you may need some type of financial help and, you know, you don't really have a problem with asking others for help but this particular person that you're going to ask for help from um they're the type of person to get they're the type of person to help you they're going to help you without a doubt however they're the type to kind of throw things in your face it could be you or them okay that kind of throw things in your face after you know they've helped you 
or they'll tell other people what they've done for you. Okay, so if you don't care, that's cool. That was just something that came through. So I just kind of wanted to get that out there for somebody. Some truth is going to be revealed in the month of September, okay? Something that has been behind closed doors, that has been in the dark, is going to come into light, okay? I feel as though it's going to cause you to become closer to someone because of this truth that has been revealed, okay? This is something that you have been wondering about, you know, and making your own assumptions about, but... Is going to come out in the open in September. Okay. This is going to cause for you to have to make a decision though. Okay. In making that decision, you're going to have to be assert assertive. You're going to have to stay on your ground. You're going to have to stick to whatever decision or conclusion you come to. Okay. Okay, you're going to have to stand up for yourself, stay on your ground. Don't back down from what you believe in, okay? If you believe something is right, you stick to that. All right, Taurus. Also, you guys are going to have some great news coming in, okay, with the six of, six of spring here. I feel as though you guys are going to get... Um, some great news due to you making great decisions in the past sometime and you know it could be whatever this uh truth that's being revealed okay whatever decision you make because i i feel as though you're going to make <laughs> the 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 best decision for you okay i feel as though um because that's smart choice that you made, you know, is going to bring rewards to you, okay, in September. Okay, some of you Tauruses, some of you don't mind asking for help from others, and some of you have a hard time reaching out to other people for advice or for help okay in the month of september if you need help or any you know at any point in your life if you need help and you have people around you that are willing to help you and support you it's nothing wrong with receiving you know it's nothing wrong with um accepting that help okay i feel as though you taurus is it's someone else that's hanging around Okay, so I feel like this truth card has something to do with a friend, a friend or a family member. Okay, I do see you, you know, cutting this person off. Okay, I do see you standing your ground with the seven of spring here and really being assertive, standing your ground and um, not backing down, okay, on what you believe in, okay? But with this three of winter here, you're going to feel sad about it. There's going to be some sadness going on, even maybe even some depression because you may have been friends um, or with this person for a long time. And you know that this person is not offering you any type of spiritual growth, mental growth, like they're not offering you anything. Everyone in your life should have some type of contribution, like... People can't just be hanging around for no reason. All right. And this person that you're letting go will be letting go or have already let go. It's kind of just hanging around. You know, they they have no purpose. All right. And um, I see you being sad about it. Having some mental conflict about it. Going back and forth with yourself about it. You know, but, um, you know, the situation is going to make you stronger. Okay, sadness is, it, it'll heal with time. 
okay? And that's where that, um, that's where, you know, family and friends come in at. And during this time of sadness, you may even meet some new friends, okay? You may meet someone else or, like I said, some a, another friend or friends. Okay, but you have to know that everything happens for a reason with this five of summer, summer here. Know that everything happens for a reason, okay? And don't, do not, do not back down in what you believe in, okay? However, like I said, you guys have um, some wonderful news coming in. Yeah, so I do see that you are going to recover from this, you know, this sadness and this heartbreak um, within the next few weeks. Okay, so again, it's not going to last always. Um, it's not going to last forever. Whatever you have been contemplating about, indecisive about, meditation bring answers, okay? So do some meditation, some prayer, and you can get your answers, okay? All right, so let's move into your love reading, Taurus. What's going on? Okay, and stop the procrastination in in September. Okay, <laughs> make a decision. Stop the confusion. Stop the over analyzing. All right. And like I said, I feel like that mental conflict, all of that is going to come from this decision. That you already know the answer to. That you already know what you should do. Alright. Let's see what's going on in love. <laughs> all right so Taurus okay so my Taurus um some of you have a um some of you have a past love coming in or you are dealing with um an ex right now okay this person um I feel like majority of you are with an ex right now. Or you will be at some point in September. If you thought that ex was long gone, they're coming back around, okay? Um, this ex can be um, dark skin or tanned. Tanned male, female. Okay, it's a lot of hard work dealing with this person, okay? Um... They're hard to please, not physically, emotionally, okay? And this person does not want um, anything. They do not want to be tied down, okay? They don't want to be in a committed relationship. Um, they enjoy, you know, talking to multiple people. They enjoy um, the single life. You know, they want to be free. They don't want to be tied down, okay, with this freedom and this open relationship card here, okay? Okay. 
this person is um this person have have the potential to be you know uh, an awesome partner but they just don't want it right now they don't want it right now and i actually see I actually see Taurus that you may be trying to force them <laughs> into something more committed, but you know, they keep telling you like, look, I don't really want to be in a committed relationship right now. Like I enjoy you, you're a great person, but I just don't want to, or some of you may be with this person already and you're kind of um, trying to imply or force you know marriage and they're kind of like mm, no, i'm not ready for that i'm not ready for that i'm not ready for that i see you really um coming to a space where you know what you want okay you know what you want and i see that you're going to be making a decision very soon as to what you want to do do you want to continue with this person or do you want to completely cut them off? I feel like this person knows how to treat you. You know, they're very nurturing, very caring. They have all um, the great attributes of a good partner, but they just don't want to be tied down. And that sucks. That sucks. Because this is a past love, you know, deep down, it could be simply them already knowing what you have to offer. I'm not being me or anything like that. I just disclaimer. I'm not being me. Like they already know what you have to offer. They already know your routine. They already know how you do things like. They just seem like they're always looking for something new. You know, they can they they don't want to be tied down because they want to they I don't know, it's very it's very weird the energy that I get from them because it's like they want commitment but then they don't like um what is it called? They don't like repetition. Like, they don't like the same old, same old, you know. But it's like, so what they do is they kind of, they want to be in an open relationship because they get bored easily, okay. And they try to find different things in different people. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's how it came out. Um... This person is going to be turn, returning like you have the, this card here. So for those of you um, where you and your ex may have taken a break or you have broken up, this person is coming back around to you, okay? You you guys may even, um, you guys may even flirt here and there. Or you may be a flirt or they may be a flirt. Okay. All right. So, so, you have unrequited love here. Okay. And you have codependency here. So this um this relationship that you have with this past lover um is karmic, okay, and it's very, very toxic and um addictive. 
Okay, for some of you, for most of you, actually. Um, I kind of get the feeling that this person pretends like to other people, this person pretends like, hey, I don't want her or I don't want him. But behind closed doors, like, they're completely, completely different. Okay? They are an actor or an actress. Okay? Um, I do see that when this person come around, it's not going to last very long with this separation card here. Because, like I said, they get very bored. They get bored easily, you know. And you can be all in and in tune with this person. And they'll, 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 you know, it'll seem like they're engaging too. And they're all into you too. But they could be um, entertaining someone else as well. At the same time. All right, so um, in your love life, Taurus, from now until the end of um, September, I kind of see your energies being shifted in the month of September. Okay, it's going to re require you to have strength and... Um, And you're going to have to really try to be positive as well because, like I said in the beginning with your general read, like some truths are going to be revealed, okay? Some truths are definitely going to be revealed, okay? However, with this magician card here, it kind of makes me feel like whatever truth this is, it can be an act of manipulation, it can be a little bit of manipulation in there from someone that's going to come to you and try to um, give you some truth, okay? So, um, with this strength card, like, you're going to have to be strong, take this information, do what you want with it, okay? Um I feel like because this is a love reading, evidently it has something to do with love. It could be whoever this person is coming to you and, you know, just spilling the beans and letting you know what's up. Um, and it may hurt you and it may, you know, turn you cold in a sense, selfish, okay? So, I'm going to pray for you, Taurus. All right. Your reading is not all that bad, though. So, it's just what you do with this information, Taurus, okay? So, that's what I have for my Taurus. I hope that helps someone. If it does resonate with you, please give a thumbs up. All right, and I will see you for soon, probably the end of September for October, okay? So, peace, love, and light, guys.